today guys this mid handicap golfer has got something new he has got something he thinks is going to help him win the match this week but what is it is it a club is it anything is it new golf balls what is it going to be let's get him in here now that's a very dangerous thing to do <laughs> Turf dog has got a death wish. He has, hasn't he? Turf dog three there. That's another one up the middle, Dave. Maybe not your best strike, but a nice towering draw. Yeah, it was a bit high on the face, to be honest. That's twice, Dave. And I don't know where the tee's gone. Forwards and left, Dave. I'll help you out. I can't see it. Oh, I've got it. Thank you. That pink tea. When you, you said forward, I thought you meant that pink tea. You bit. can't see on you grass. You said next to the tea. Right. Anyway, I get a shot. You I'm do. here for none. You do get a shot, Dave. Now I'm there for one, but maybe 100 yards further. Tea's here, Dave. Don't worry. Got it. He's managed to get it past the 150 here, so he'll have a shorter shot in uphill, but he's worried about the renovations the boys are doing. Well, it, it, Changing a couple of the bunkers here at Woolley Park this winter. Riveted faces, like the one on 16, which you'll Chris, see next Chris, week. It's not riveted. Rivet. Oh, rivet. Rivetted. Rivetted face. Sorry, Dave. It's all right. I'm just, I'll put you right. It's your Yorkshire accent. Can't see any pylons either, Dave. <laughs> well, you what? Not in Woolley. <laughs> any pylons to be seen? They wouldn't allow. They wouldn't allow towers in Woolley. Dave's got a Dumfries and Galloway. Well, it's Dumfries and County is that one, sir. Oh, oh, well, thanks for lying to me, Dave. Very, very snazzy that. That's. Um, Was it free? No, no. I actually bought that one. Um, went up there with um, Phil Hampshire, Luke Hampshire, and Scottish Paul. Cause Scottish Paul's from Dumfries. Yeah, oh, there we go. So no, this, is what, this is what you tune in for, guys. It you is. get to know Dave's life story. Who oh, needs Sky Sports, eh? That's a fantastic shot, Dave. Go. Sure, but snuck on? Yep. It's done well, that. I think the pin's at the back, but that's a good shot. Thank you. Compliments at last. On the green and didn't kill the boys. Here we go, try and avoid the tractor. I'm going to go with a low one here, so a low wedge, here's, clean and placed. Chris with a bit of a wedge. The, um, the guy driving the mini excavator looks worried, but we'll see. Hands are cold, he'll be blaming, blaming the frost. I've, I've lent him a hand warmer. Dave's chattering away. It'll all be edited out. Right. Well, it was always going to be, wasn't it? Oh, pulled it a bit. Pin eye, but it wasn't going near the gentleman in the he digger. He thinks it's pin eye. I'd say it's long, but anyway. Got a sighting of James Robinson and Arsene Wenger down there. Walking and carrying James, what's um, that about? Unbelievable scenes. Arsene Wenger zooming in on us. Dave's just gone one up there on the 13th hole. Emerging, these matches, I can bring one up and then you claw it back. Come back with a lucky shot and like that. Never took the lead out of yet. Today, guys, we're fantastic Woolly Park. We are on the 14th hole here. We are playing the back nine, par five. 440 yards from these front tees. So again, stroke index seven. Dave gets a shot. What can he do? Oh, he's getting heckled by the crowd. Yeah, That's a low one, not past the corner, Dave. Don't matter, just I get a shot. And I know that you can't draw it, so. James Robinson will be talking on his channel about the... the uh, I'll bet you he's saying something about that damn Taylor made. About a burner drive, Dave. Burner, or whatever it was called. You think one bad shot in your life, and that's what happened. Well, you did more than one, but it did. Well, it's got something. 
No, without a clue. Now, is it? Well, I don't think you could get the height or the distance, unfortunately, Dave. But other than that. Okay, right, walking down to Dave. He's caught the rough. I can just see it there now, and he is blocked out a little bit. So, two options here to play out towards that big tree there. Which, again, we'll get him inside 150 yards. Or as you try and go straight over with a wedge. Where are you going to go, Dave? I'm going to go for the end of that hedge. But I just want to know how far it is. End of the hedge. Let's have a quick look. So it's going to go for there. What does your millis say? Yeah, Chris, is that hedge? How far? 200. 200. So what are you going to go? Six hybrid? Yeah. Thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Yeah, Right, sports fans, this is what you've come for. Dave, six hybrid, out of the rough, frosty rough. 200 yards. Has he got it in the bag at one up? Oh, I think you've said stop, Dave, and that could be bang behind the tree. The big tree. We don't like to see that, Dave, but you're there for one. Take the positives. Yeah, I can tell you, you, you got it from me, aren't you? You're there for one, Dave. That's what you normally say. I do. I don't fear to be on the tree. Oh, dear. So, Dave was just saying he couldn't see mine. Yeah, yeah, just it's just there. I think it might actually still be past yours, Dave, in two, but... I don't think it is. Again, a good line into the green. We're pretty much now even. And Dave's got a tree in his way. Well, let's come and have a look at Dave's shot. Just clean sure. Not fair. Let's see what he's dealt with this. This fantastic layup. I mean, it's not too bad. You can see the flag, Dave. Yeah. You can also see that tree. Flag is there. Right, what are you thinking, Dave? <laughs> I can't really say what I'm thinking on camera, Chris. You've got 150 I think left. It's 150, yeah. I'm thinking I might just try and chase a six iron down and six iron. Have a bit of a prayer. A bit of a hope and a prayer. Although I don't have to say, I think you're behind you, don't you? I don't think so, because so, this is how close you are to the 150, and I'm well in front of the 150. That's a fantastic well, shot, Dave. Show what you see. Good shot, sir. Has it stayed on the green? No, it's not so, wouldn't you? Just. Good shot. I'm there for net two. Good shot. Thank you. Well, certainly not what I expected from me, Dandy Cap Dave, there. I had all my money placed on maybe a top. Again. So, on the so guys if you do watch the channel you will know that mid handicap Dave is a man of the iron head covers and there's a lot of you out there obviously who want to protect your eyes golf's not getting any cheaper and the guys at craftsman golf have sent us some head covers so I've got a driver head cover to give away which I don't have out at the minute because of the color of it will be very dirty today but Dave has got these iron head covers that they are on his irons now keeping them nice and fresh helping him play shots like he just has but guys if you want to be in to win either my driver head cover or Dave's iron head covers comment iron below to be in to win some iron head covers and comment driver below to be into the chance to win the driver head cover I have got which will be on the channel soon right fantastic shot there from Dave he's just said that he was pin high but it's debatable I've just, just gone past that but yes yeah, a little bit long for me too safe there but let's see if I can get out with a two put because I'll need it he's got another uphill put here so 
uphill right to left just to win the hole and go two up that's got the legs oh it was bang in the middle dave as well pick it up scraped a half oh, birdie. So guys, here they are, the Craftsman Golf head covers. So Dave is a big fan of obviously having a zip on there. He's had Velcro in the past. He's had magnets in the past and they quickly break. He's never had a problem. They don't break, Chris. They just don't hang on to the club. They just don't hang on. So a zipper is the one of day. That's why I thought of him when they did get in contact. So thank you very much for sending these guys. And if you want to win a set of these iron head covers, comment iron below. If you want to win the driver head cover, which I'll put on screen now, then comment driver below and we will do a draw for those. Dave thinks these can help him. They're certainly going to keep his Tacomos nice and clean and nice and warm. Ready for... You need, you need dry and warm club, Chris. Ready for the shot. He just played like on the last. But with golf becoming more and more expensive, are these something that you should have on your clubs to keep them looking the best they can? After all, you are spending your hard-earned money, nearly up to £1,600 these days, for a set of irons. Right, Dave's still got the honour after getting out of there somehow. Actually, it was a fantastic six iron, Dave, I'll give you that. <laughs> So this goes straight into the bunker now. Well, I'm just a bit worried about that bunker, but do you know what? He's having it. He's having it. Dave's got a spozzy off, and now he's giving it some. Well, well, it was having some. That was awful. I mean, That's because we're trying to hit it hard. That's you, that. That pitched at 60 yards, I think. That's your there, fault. Dave. I don't think there's much to beat there, but that's the kind of shot I needed to claw another one back. That's how we want it. That's a fair way. Opened up the flag. Where's my tea, Dave? I've lost my tea. It's your tea as well. That's there. I've stood on it. Oh, it stood on it after all that. Do I get a shot here? I think you get a shot because you'll need it after that drive. Mm -hmm. Dave thought he got a shot, but he's oh, going to be joking. very disappointed when he sees he gets 12 shots today. And we've got the 15th hole, par 4, 379 yards. Stroke index, 13. Uh, what a shame. A what a shame, Dave. Some would say that's uh, poor preparation from Dave, but I think it was the excitement of the head covers that uh, has got to him. He's now checking his uh, phone, checking, making sure that he's right. And he doesn't get one on the next either. And he doesn't get one on the next either. It's all falling to pieces for Dave, guys. This could be the first victory for me, or the first victory for either of us on this series. And guys, comment below, where do you want to see us play? We are penciling Southern S. Right. Somewhere dry, where we've got a lot of room. This is dry, Dave. Well, if you pitch it in the rough, 20 yards from the tee, <laughs> it often doesn't get much run. Does it? Right, this bunker in front was was worried off the tee, <laughs> and now we're worried again, Dave. Mm -hmm. But it's a trusty five wood. Comment below, guys, what five wood do you think Dave has got? Because so far in this uh, episode here at Woolly Park, it's been performing very well for you, well, Dave. I didn't know I'd take drive as soon as he hit it so well off that tee. Well, that's true. The old low runner. Another fantastic five wood, Dave. Thank you. If you did that off the tee, well, if you should have, right? You might have just got past me as well. Unfortunately, it's a miss green from 100 yards. It's another bunker for Dave to go in shortly. <laughs> He's got two to go over, actually. And we know he likes the uh, occasional low worm burner. Right, how far you got, Dave? 115. Oh, I had a bit longer than I thought about it. Pardon? 115, what have you got? Eight? I've got an eight, Chris, because it's an uphill line. It's a bit killed. Yep, I think that's the right club, Dave. Yeah. Plenty of green to the left of this fly. This is a double green here at Woolley, which you will have seen by the flyover. Interesting green. The big ridge in it. Oh, it's a 
Total miss striker. I've missed the green. Dave had the chance to capitalise, and some would say he did a Leeds United. What's that, Chris? Crumbled. <laughs> right, as you realise, we haven't gone that far, but Dave's, Dave's gone from 115 to having probably 50 yards left. He struck that eight iron. Not how he expected or wanted. Well, would it go mining something? I thought I found it. Yeah, you did a good job. You tried your best. But you can't see mine on the green. I'm just left near the uh, the repairs they're doing over there. So oh, here we go. A good, get a free drop here. a good chip for Dave, and he could still be in it. But he doesn't get a shot on the next guys. He's already looked at that. The wheels are already falling off. He's already looking at shots. Great flight. Go a little. Bit of spin. A good strike, Dave. Perfect divot. Great flight. Too good. Can run here. Try and get this. They've stopped pretty quick, so most of it to be carry, hopefully. Firm bounce there, but not bad. So, Dave putting for a four, Dave. Five. Oh dear. <coughs> oh dear. Basically, we don't go in. That's all she wrote. Back mm. to all square. No shot on the next. <laughs> Positive, Dave. Well, it had to be, didn't it? It did. Let's see what happens with this first one, Chris, but probably giving you it. in all square guys hopefully you've enjoyed that we're going to be still going at woolly park next week on the final three holes dave doesn't get a shot but guys if you want to win these iron head covers or the driver head cover comment iron or driver below or both to be in with a chance to win those